first thing we want to look at is goals. What are we trying to achieve when we drill metal? Obviously, we want a nice, clean hole. We want it to be precisely where we planned it to be. We want to do the job pretty quick, or as quick as we can. And we don't want to dull the bits or damage the tools. This is the uh, piece of metal I've chosen to use. It's just a piece of scrap that came from an old jack that got wrecked. Clamping the work down securely will save you a lot of blood and broken drill bits. The next step is to punch the metal. This gives you a little dimple that the center of your drill bit can rest in so that it doesn't wander around. And if it's not to your satisfaction, you can make sure the tip of the punch is right in the same mark and then make it deeper. The important point is that you have it lined up right on the spot. This is a different kind of punch. It's easier to line up. Then you just push it down and it clicks. You can do the same thing, put the punch in the exact same hole and click it again. Uh, it doesn't matter that much though, it, the bit just needs to be able to rest in there. So now let's look at the drill. This is a Ryobi cordless drill. I'm not necessarily endorsing Home Depot. And there I'm showing the trigger variable speed. You have to be able to adjust the speed while you're drilling. Uh, metal is drilled slowly, so you need slower speeds. And that on the top is the range selector switch that uh, chooses between the high range and, uh, and the low range. Obviously you want the slow range. Also there's a clutch mechanism there and that clutch mechanism, um, well, don't worry about what it does. Just it's it's adjusted to 20 there. It should actually be adjusted to drill. It's a little picture of the drill bit. So if yours has a clutch, just adjust it to drill. And these are the drill bits. This is the largest one. That's that's the size I want the hole to be in the end. But it would be hard to go straight for that size. It would take a long time. If you start with a small hole, it's much more efficient. Just pick the smallest drill bit that doesn't seem flimsy. It doesn't seem like you're going to easily break it. Um, that's the one I had looked about right. That's the pilot hole. And then this one's in between the two. And it's called step drilling when you use multiple bits like that. So. Those three are the bits we're going to use. There are a number of kinds of oil you can uh, use for lubricating the drill bit. Uh, you can use lards, waxes, uh, grease, oil. You want to avoid anything like uh, vegetable oils that turn into a, that oxidize into a polymer. So stuff like linseed oil would be out. Uh, canola oil would be out. Um, this is just 10W30 motor oil from O'Reilly and uh, it should work just fine. Also, you shouldn't lubricate if you are drilling into cast iron or brass. So you won't really need lubrication in cast iron anyway. These little uh, oil cans are really nice. You can fill them with whatever kind of oil. They're kind of hard to come by. I had to search quite a while for this thing. If not, a can of that three-in-one oil, uh, that works pretty nice. Here I'm checking to see if the drill bit is sharp. 
the only part of the drill bit that cuts is right on the tip there, these two edges on the tip. Uh, if the drill bit's dull, you're probably going to want to use a different drill bit. Drill bits can be sharpened, but you probably want to collect up a, a good collection of dull drill bits before you start trying to learn how to uh, sharpen drill bits. Okay, I'm going to draw, apply just a drop of oil. And we're going to drill the pilot hole. Now I'm trying to get the drill bit right in the little dimple made by the punch. And here we go. And you're going to notice pretty quickly that my drill bit is not at a 90 degree angle to the work. This is a mistake you shouldn't make. You want the bit to be square to the work. And I've got a rather, rather serious lean there. Um, you measure how your progress is going by looking at the chip, the bits of metal that are coming out. If it's fine and powdery, uh, you might try turning the drill more slowly or pressing harder. If it's too long, that means you could uh, you could speed up the drill. Uh, the chip coming out is pretty nice. And there I've just gone through. And once again, you judge your progress by the kind of uh, chip that's coming out. Uh, if it's fine and powdery, you're not really doing much drilling. Uh, if you've got a nice, if it gets really long, you could probably be drilling faster. So, go ahead. Right there, the chip looks pretty nice. Just vary the speed of the drill and the pressure you're, uh, you're using to push it down. Uh, until you feel like you've got a chip that looks kind of like it is now. Uh, and they're on through. Okay, you can see the drill bit is kind of wobbling back and forth there. Uh, that's partly because my my drill is not square to the work. And uh, so if you have that problem, one, check to see that your drill is square to the work. Uh, and just sort of keep the bit steady, firm pressure, slow speed, and it should round itself out. Uh, and you can see that happening here, the, the wobble is disappearing, and uh, it's cutting good chips. So. And I just broke through. And you can see here on the work that is nice round hole, nice clean edges. So, well drilled hole. Thanks for watching and don't forget to dislike and unsubscribe.